Uh, okay, so uh, today I'm going to start work on the SME, which is the BMW safety box. Contains the pre-charge circuits and everything like that. So what I want to try and do is strip it down, have a look at what I can use, what I don't need, get rid of the stuff I don't need and just keep it really basic. Let's start stripping it down. First thing we're going to do is remove this uh, electronic box of magic there we go have we got anything exciting to say at the moment there we go oh, hello. Oh, okay, silly me. Uh, right, so there's just some clips on the side need undoing, and then uh, a couple of tie wraps. There we go, got some snips. Uh, so it was secondlife-evbatteries.com. Um, they do have a video on YouTube of this being stripped down. So if you want someone who knows what they're on about, I'll uh, remind me of the link in the description the description to their video. Ooh. Let's give you a good look. As I say, if you want a description of everything, go and check out that video. Um, link in the description. I am just going to have a play around with this now. Right, just so that I uh, have record of what goes where, because I'm going to start stripping everything down. Uh, there's an orange wire going there to the negative uh, side of things. Um, got a purple one here that goes down to the positive bus bar. Um, there's a red and a green over there again on the negative side of things. So just so that we know what's going to go on. So I'm going to try and get all of these little wires out of the way. Uh, get this board out of the way and then try and have a look at what I can use. Just for the record, uh, we've got a blue one, so that's this one here, then the middle is brown and this one on the end is white. Right, okay, so uh, slowly getting this apart, it's just all the wiring loom and this little plastic thing here, it's just loads and loads of little tiny cable ties. But um, what I want to do is just make sure that I keep a record of what goes where. So I've got a white one coming down here, a black cable coming to this one, and then a grey and a green. Okay, there's a brown one here, red and yellow down there. Brown and a blue down there. And then these all came over here. So no, let's uh, let's carry on. Okie dokie then. So carrying on with the uh, safety box here. I've taken out a lot of the uh, BMW wiring, um, and we've got down to uh, this little gizmo here. Okay, so this is to do with a pre-charged circuit. So we should allow a small amount of current to come along here, through here, along the black wire, over to the white wire, round here, and then to sort of slowly charge the capacitors uh, before we chuck through 400 volts. But we don't have continuity between this black wire here and this white wire here. Okay, we've got a little gizmo, a little relay hidden in there somewhere uh, with the grey and green wires coming off of it. And uh, we can see if we put power to the grey and green wires that we open up that connection. Okay. Um, not quite sure on whether I need that or how I'm going to use it, but I'll have a little think and um, maybe just put the ignition to there, just give me a little bit of extra safety. But um, 
Yeah, coming along. Okay, so now to check the actual uh, contactors are working. So we have the uh, 12 volt going in here. That's the black and yellow wires. So I've just got some 12 volt going to those. One there and one there. Jammed the old multimeter leads in. So currently we've got an open circuit. And if we connect the 12 volts, there you go. We can nice we can hear that one. So that's that one tested. Now I've got to test this one over here. So now onto this one over here. Oh, that lead keeps dropping out. There you go. So again, open circuit. Got the brown and the blue wires now hooked up. Let's grab the 12 volts. There you go. Excellent. So that's fan dabby dozy. Both of those contactors are working. So those contactors are working. What we've got to do now is we need to get a like a delay circuit built in. Um, so that's my next job. Okay, so uh, delay circuit. So I don't know if I mentioned earlier. I'll say it again anyway. It's really important. Uh, you, you can't just chuck 400 volts straight through. Okay, so you need to um, what's called pre-charge the circuit. Okay, and only you only need it for like a second. You know, just to um, make sure that you don't have a huge current draw coming through your contactors. You're going to weld your contactors shut. All right. So I've got this little gizmo off the internet. Uh, just a delay timer and uh right so what i've done is i've got dc coming in here okay you then must have this middle one here connected to your dc in all right so i've done that via the breadboard this then is going to be your power out okay your, your positive out uh and then your negative has to go back to uh common as well all right so I don't know. I've probably not explained it very well. There's people out there on YouTube that are far better at explaining this stuff than me. But uh, let's have a look at what we've got. We've got that going there. I just need to put that negative onto there. Oh, hello. Where are you? Like that. That oh, bloody hell. Never easy when you've got one hand. And get the other end. And hook it from there. Right, positive on there, positive on there. Got that ready. So we can see that it's made. We don't have any volts. That's for oh poo. That's pulled off of there. Anyway, try and do this one-handed. That to there. That to there. And there we got our 12 volts. Okay, I've got it set to about five seconds at the moment, just so that uh, if there is a problem, I can disconnect some of it. But uh, that will be set down once it's all sorted and once I've confirmed everything's working to about a second. Okay, so that's the latest bit. Right, so it's all uh, wired up now, not on the breadboard. So uh, positive and positive, uh, negative is there. All of the negatives coming into the same place. Uh, like I say positive that side, positive. Positive out to the delay, the delayed part of the circuit, is the positive contactor is from this yellow wire here coming up to the positive contactor. Okay, the other ones go to the negative contactor and this relay down here. So what should happen is you apply power this contactor makes, this relay makes at the same time, which sends a small amount of current through to the pre-charge circuit. And then the positive contactor makes sending the full amount of power through to the circuit, through to the inverter. So um, let's see if I've got that wired up right. 
Right, 12 volts going on. If I can get there quickly enough, we can see that this contactor, there we go, that contactor's okay. I didn't quite make it in time, but now we can see also that this contactor has made as well. Okay, but you could actually hear an audible click after about five seconds. Oh, there we go. So that's all working. Right, so last check that I'm doing, it's all powered up, contact as I made, I'm just gonna check continuity uh, on the negative and the positive side. So uh, that's from this connection here, where am I? This connection here, following it down through to the bottom one here, and then from this cable here to this buzz bar here. Right, so I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to do this whilst holding the camera, but we'll do our best. There. I have no idea if I got that on camera, but it worked. Okay, so uh, I've got the little plastic wire tray back in which gave me a nice place to screw my uh, delay circuit to so that's all in got all of those wires cable tied uh, don't worry I won't be using these in the final build but for now they'll do so that's my positive and my negative in there got the uh, bus bar coming across here and then once that's all done that goes on top and nobody knows any different so that'll be lovely. So whilst I've just I've just taken all the wires apart and grouped them up together, so one more quick test and that'll do for today. I can't really see much now, but that's the lid back on, the little connector uh, protectors back on, and then we've got our negative and positive. That's to go to the ignition, uh, the switched ignition live. There you go. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you did. Uh, please like, share, subscribe and uh, leave any comments in the comment section below. Cheers y'all.